This is one of the best 3D program for iPad. We're talking about Sharp 3D and I discovered it very randomly on Instagram Reels. I used it a bit last year during Design Studio 2 and I have to say that it was really useful to represent quickly and clearly all the ideas that I had during the design process. It is a very intuitive app. The first page that we meet works like Procreate or Adobe Fresco on iPad. Here we find all our previous projects which are automatically saved. And by pressing on this plus button above, we open a new project. So let's get started. I would like to start by trying the app and use the common commands just to show you how it works. Being an app designed for product design, I would like to start with a random object that we can find everywhere. So let's try to go with this one. It's really common. I think all of you have one. Let's start with the basic information. The drawing scale, you find it here and the one listers that are different, I will choose the millimeters for this project. Let's start by drawing the lines of the base. Now, as you can see, it highlights the shape and by pressing on it, we can extrude the solid. By pressing with our finger twice on the screen, we can now set this as the new plane and draw on it to make this second part of the plug. Here, this function is very interesting. As you can see, the plug here has round corners and here we have some edges. So to smooth them, we just click on one side and we use the arrow to smooth the corners as much as we want. Now we need just the two last details, which are these two parts here. And to make them, it's very simple. We select the plane again with our finger tapping on the screen and we draw two circles and then extrude them. We go to the end of this cylinder that we made. We select the circumference and we again smooth the edges and magic, we have created this rounded part at the end. Now comes the interesting part, give material to every part of our model. So we just go to the viewport here and choose the materials that best suit the model. And we can choose among many materials. From here we can change the texture scale, the rotation and the color of the texture. While from here we can change the camera setting from the wide angle, like a fisheye, to an axonometric one. But my favorite part is this. From here we can visualize the model in the real life. Well, it makes me so happy every time I see it. And it feels like I can almost touch them. It's, it's crazy. Okay, so now I want to try to replicate a piece of childhood. I'm sure we have all played with it, come on. Here it is, I want to try the classic Lego brick. I looked on my phone for a reference, as you can see, and I have all the measurements that I need, so let's get started. Okay, here we are with the finished bricks. I, I really enjoyed making this. <laughs> I wanted to replicate them in every detail they have, but now my favorite part, bringing them into reality. Okay, now that we have seen how the program works, I want to give you a more technical and architectural approach. So here
here is the Barcelona Pavilion by Miss Van der Rohe. Obviously, it's a really simplified version. I just downloaded from uh, from internet the AutoCAD file because on this application you can actually import AutoCAD files. Now I'll show you this other example of a part of a project from last year, and it's a concrete tower with a suspended central body. Obviously, if you follow me on TikTok, you will have seen the 1 to 50 model that I made. In any case, I had added every single detail, in addition to the texture, also the handles and the handrails, and even the structure of the stairs. You can see the steel beams and also every step. Well, in summary, I think this is one of the best 3D programs for iPad. It is very intuitive, but at the same time is very precise and perfect to be used at school, but also professionally. I've seen that it is designed for the design of the products rather than architecture and these products are like small or medium size. I personally find it very useful for the use that I need, so it's like architectural uh, representation and for just for the preliminary phase of uh, design process. So do I recommend this app? Definitely yes. It could replace the 3D modeling on computer because it's really intuitive and it's very simple to be used, but at the same time, it cannot replace the rendering quality that we have on PC. Here, the visualization is very abstract and sometimes almost weird, but it allows you to have and give a clear idea of the product. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.